from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Nearly one in four millennials live with their mom. The other three millennials don't live at home, but they still visit daily for food and laundry services. Your diet might be changing soon for the more disgusting. Scientists believe that the cockroach milk produced by the Pacific beetle cockroach could one day become the ultimate superfood. The Pacific beetle cockroach is viviparous, meaning the female gives birth to live babies that have developed within their body, instead of laying eggs. As the embryos grow inside the mother's body, she feeds them a pale, yellowish liquid like milk that scientists discovered has three times the energy content of buffalo milk making it one of the most nutritious substances on Earth. Researcher Leonard Chavez told CNN, "...it's what one would need – protein, essential amino acids, lipids, and sugars. The nutritious substance can be extracted in either liquid or crystal form through a process called cockroach milking. However, as you might have guessed, milking cockroaches is not the easiest thing in the world to do, not to mention that it reportedly takes a thousand cockroaches to harvest only a hundred grams of milk. So, for the time being, scientists are looking at ways of recreating the stuff in the lab or coming up with a cockroach milk pill. De Beers is going to begin selling diamonds that are made in a lab. Don't we already have that? It's called cubic zirconia. Easy on that cinnamon! That advice from Denmark's food authority has rankled pastry chefs whose cinnamon rolls were found to violate the European Union's spice rules. The Danish Veterinary and Food Administration recently discovered that Danish cinnamon rolls and twists contained more coumarin – it's a chemical compound in the most common variety of cinnamon – than the EU rules allow. So the agency asked Danish bakers to reduce the amount of cinnamon that they sprinkle in the dough for sweet treats like the cinnamon roll and cinnamon twist. Danish bakers protested, saying the EU limit is too strict and would make it hard, if not impossible, to make their cherished pastries. Okay, now I'm confused here. I mean, since when did former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg move to Denmark? The NBA Championship Series will feature the Golden State Warriors against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Again. This makes the fourth year in a row. Hey, here's a suggestion. Why don't we call them the Deja Vu Games? Mexico is looking to battle the bulging waistlines of its children by banning the sale of junk food in its schools, including many of the traditional treats generations of kids have grown up with. Getting the axe, along with modern soft drinks and sweets, will be salted tamarind candy, pork rinds, and atoll, which is a thick and sweet cornstarch-based beverage served piping hot in the morning. On the plus side, candy-filled piñatas are still allowed because they're good for cardiovascular exercise. Well, how's this for embarrassing? In Belleville, Illinois, a Camp Jackson fire truck caught fire inside the fire station. Crews at the station found heavy smoke inside the front bay around 1 p.m. Assistant Chief Sharon Davis said firefighters were able to start the truck and pull it outside away from the other equipment. They then worked for about 15 minutes to put the fire out. Davis said they believe the fire was electrical in nature and didn't know if the truck could be salvaged. So far, they have no one to flame, uh, blame, but the fire chief is definitely hot under the collar and uh, might fire someone before the heat dies down. Meghan Markle now has her own official coat of arms. I guess a jacket with just two arms isn't enough for royalty? Wildfires strike suddenly and unexpectedly, destroying homes, taking lives, and costing billions of dollars every year. Well, now scientists say that new satellite technology developed by NASA could help predict where fires will strike next. According to Time magazine, the system, known as FireSat, uses infrared sensors to identify wildfires when they have grown to be at least 35 to 50 feet wide. Detection by the system occurs within 15 minutes of the beginning of that fire. Next, they hope to create another early warning system to let people know of oncoming Kardashians. Andrew Lincoln is going to be leaving The Walking Dead this next season, with Norman Reedus taking over the lead role. They plan to have Rick just walk off limping into the sunset, much like the latest ratings of The Walking Dead. Residents of Papua New Guinea will have to forget about using Facebook for a month. The country's communication minister, Sam Basil, says his government plans to ban the social media site for a month 
to call out fake users and see how Facebook is affecting people's lives. So, Is it possible to go a full month without Facebook? Do they have medications to make available for those who suffer withdrawal? Because I think I'd probably need it. Fruit Loops cereal has added a new flavor – Wildberry. I, can, I can't help but think the word esque or ish should be added to that. Before you check out, remember that the hotel towels aren't yours. And just because they are owned by a big corporation doesn't make it right to steal them. Visitors steal roughly $50 million worth of towels every year in the United States. You know, I am suddenly feeling guilty about taking that half-full bottle of conditioner. Disney World announced they are finally serving alcohol at every restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. It's their last-ditch effort to make Stitch's Great Escape somewhat entertaining. Over in Indonesia, police say 10 passengers on a Lion Air flight preparing to take off from Borneo were injured after a passenger falsely claimed there was a bomb on board. Most of the injuries were head wounds and broken bones as the 189 passengers panicked and scrambled to get off the plane. Video showed dozens of people standing on the Boeing 737's right wing. Some slid down the right engine and landed on the tarmac. Police say 26-year-old Frantinus Nerigi told a flight attendant there was a bomb on board. Another passenger broke the emergency exit windows. Both men were arrested. Police inspectors, by the way, found no bomb. You gotta admit, though, that is a good way to clear out some space to get more legroom. A new study says people adding more seafood to their diet can improve their sex lives. Yeah, maybe so, but I am still not eating oysters. Unless they're covered in Cheetos dust. If you could live a tax-free life, would you get a big tattoo with the letters IRS on it on your body? In a survey, one in five Americans said, yeah, they would. Hey, can I add something else to the tattoo then? I mean, along with the letters IRS? If so, I'd like to add the letter F at the beginning and the letter T at the end. See, there you go. Now stop taxing me into oblivion. The oceanfront estate in San Clemente that was once owned by Richard M. Nixon and known as the Western White House during his presidency is back up for sale at $63.5 million. Great opportunity if they can somehow, somewhere against all odds, find somebody who admires Richard M. Nixon. A Dubai couple's marriage has got to be a contender for the title of shortest marriage in history. It seems the groom asked for a divorce less than 15 minutes after the wedding ceremony. Sadly, the reason comes down to money, specifically the dowry payment he had agreed to pay the bride's father. As per the contract the groom and his father-in-law had signed, the newly married man agreed to pay the bride's father 100,000 dirhams, which is about $27,000, in two installments, half up front and then the other half after the wedding. But the newly married man asked the bride's father to wait just five minutes, assuring him that the money was in the car, but the father-in-law insisted the groom send somebody to get the money so he could be paid immediately. As the whole ugly exchange played out in front of the newlyweds' friends and family, the groom became embarrassed and insulted, so he marched right back into the courthouse and divorced his wife less than 15 minutes after marrying her, which you can totally do over there. Thanks, Daddy. If you like what you're hearing, please leave a review of the podcast and share a link to this episode with a couple of friends and suggest they subscribe. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.